I'm going to show you how to create a flaming font using Adobe Photoshop CS4 like the one you see on the screen. Um, I'm going to delete this layer and start from scratch. Start with a bla black background layer then create a new layer. Select the type tool. I'm going to type in fire right now I'm using Algerian with a 40 point normally when I work on flaming fonts uh, I use 400 points but for demo purposes and I don't want my computer to crash while recording this video so I'm using only 40 points I'm gonna zoom in next I want to duplicate this fire layer then I'm going to go to edit, transform, rotate 90 degrees clockwise, filter, stylize, wind. I'm going to click on OK to rasterize type. The direction from the left. OK. I'm going to do this two more times by holding control and pressing F. Then I'm going to go to edit transform, rotate 90 degrees counterclockwise and I'm gonna align this with the rear fire layer then I'm gonna go to filter blur, Gaussian blur uh, I have it at around 2.4 pixels okay then I wanna move this background layer and select the fire copy layer and I want to merge these layers together. Next I'm going to go to the rectangular marquee tool and make a selection and I'm going to go to filter, liquify, a brush size of 40 uh, using the forward warp tool I'm just going to drag out these flames like so. I'm doing this really quickly but normally you want to take a little bit more time. Next I'm going to make the second selection. You can do this all at once or uh, separate the liquify into sections depending on your system resources. Again, I'm going to pull this out. You want to take more time with your flames and again, you can uh, decrease the brush size. I'm going to decrease it to 20 and click on OK. I'm going to deselect. Press Control U and click on Colorize. I'm going to bump up the saturation to 100% and change the hue to 44, which gives you this yellow color. Click on OK. I'm going to use Screen. Then I'm going to duplicate this fire copy and change this to Overlay and again I'm going to pr press control U and I'm going to bump up the saturation to around like 30 and you can move the hue up or down to, to change the color of your flames you can make them green, blue uh, depending on what you want but I'm going to move this down to around 27 and you can see the orange color coming in click on OK next you want to click on the eyedropper tool and you want to select the dark tone and then select a lighter tone and you want to move this fire layer to the middle and you want to rasterize it 
Okay, I'm going to turn off the bottom layer and top layer so you can see what's happening. Um, you want to lock, lock the transparent pixels. Use the gradient tool and hold the shift button and just drag your gradient down. So as you can see the selection, the colors you selected on top and bottom. The darker colors on the bottom, the lighter colors on top. Now I'm gonna turn these layers back on and you have the realistic fire look. And you can leave this as it is or merge the layers together and that's it.